everyone. How are you today? The scripture for today is from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his way crooked will be found out. Living God's way, Solomon described the human life as a walk. All people move through life like a walk. Yet not all people walk through life in the same way. Some do so in crooked, perverse ways, while others walk uprightly. The way in which they walk is influenced not by their aptitude or ability, but by their companions along life's journey. Those who walk with God follow Him into paths of righteousness. Those who do not walk with him follow the course of this world. The prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Ephesians 2 verse 2. Godly men and women of faith are singled out as those who walk with God. For example, the enigmatic figure Enoch walked with God and was taken by God directly. To his presence at the end of his life. Genesis 5 verse 22, 24. Hebrews 11 verse 5. Noah, who was spared the destruction brought about by the flood, was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God. Genesis 6 verse 9. Hebrews 11 verse 7. Likewise, Abraham trusted God and walked with him, though he did not know where he was going. Genesis 12, verse 1 to 3, and Hebrews 11, verse 8. In Jesus' day, his disciples literally walked with him as they followed him to fish for people. Matthew 4, verse 19, as the good shepherd, God knows how best to lead his people to green pastures and still waters. Psalm 23, verse 1 to 2. His children know his voice and follow his leadership because they know that he guides them in the path of life. John 10, verse 1 to 6. It is impossible to walk with God apart from Jesus. All people, by virtue of their inborn sin natures, live counter to God's wisdom and are unwilling to follow his leadership. Jesus was the only man who ever followed God's path perfectly. He walked with God each day and each moment of each day. He earned a righteous standing before the Father, more than sinners could ever produce on their own. By grace, he gives his righteous standing to his followers who are seen by God as having lived the upright life God demands. 2 Corinthians 5, 17-21 The gift of righteousness then motivates and mobilizes God's people to walk in a manner worthy of their calling with God as their constant companion through life's journey. Ephesians 4, verse 1. I want to leave you with the scriptures in Romans 3, verse 22. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction. Have a great day, you guys, and God bless.